Okay, so right now we're gonna check out the difference between the Sweet Pea Weber and the Weber Highlight here. Highlight. Highlight. Um, and they're actually very different instruments. They're different in every conceivable way, just about. Let's see. They have the uh, mahogany backs. They're, they're both uh, mahogany neck and uh, body there, the backs and sides. This one, though, is one solid piece. How cool is that? Quite. Um, this one, you can see, it has that, that joint there. Um, but it's very beautifully made. Um, this one has the F holes. This is just a D hole. And look, I added more holes like a doofus. Uh, I had a Telecaster pickup there and I put nickel wound strings on it and it was awesome. But you know, I was a teenager. Okay. That's what teenagers do. I drilled some holes in it. I even put a strap, uh, button on the back there. Who is this guy? And I went to the desert and I left it like in the car in the desert. And like, uh, so it's a little bowed. You see that? And you can even see the bridge there is kind of working that way. But it's pretty straight still. And it, it still plays very nicely. And um, I just love the neck. In fact, I almost changed the neck um, to match this one. I don't know. Can you see that this is like a V-neck and this is more of a rounded neck? Um, this one actually fits my hand better. And you know what? And you know what? It sounds pretty good, I think. If they were in a contest, which they're not, uh, of course the full size um, would win. But I mean, they're they're a lot of they're pretty cool instruments. I I happily use them both, and uh, I think it's cool they're made of the same the the same wood. My brother has a tailor with the with a spruce top and a mahogany back, and I think they sound really nice together. Uh, well, that was the comparison. I hope we all learned something today. I hope we engaged our mandolin minds in ways that we might not have thought have that we would have done this morning when we popped out of our bedsickles. <laughs>